Hi everybody, welcome back to Mr. Drew Paints With You. I'm here with my friend Natty and today we're going to show you how we would mount a loose canvas onto a board. Now why might you want to mount a canvas to a board? There are several reasons. Sometimes if you're out landscape painting, maybe you're traveling, maybe you just have a bunch of loose canvas and you tape uh, one canvas at a time to your board and then when they dry you can just stack them. It doesn't take up as much space as uh, a stretched canvas or even regular canvas panels. Or sometimes maybe you want to make a, a custom beep. Or sometimes you might want to make a custom size canvas and you maybe can't find stretcher bars in that size. So you can get a board cut down if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store. You can have them cut it exactly the size you want or uh, if you're fortunate enough to have your own table saw, you can cut down a board uh, very cleanly and the exact size you want. And in this instance, uh, Natty has this beautiful painting and she found a frame that works really well with it. But the frame is a completely custom size. It's going down to like quarters of the inch. So you're not going to find a stretcher frame that's going to fit that unless you get it custom ordered. So here we're cropping it down, which is also going to help with the composition. So we're resizing that painting. We're gluing it onto this panel in order to fit it into a custom size frame. Here are some of the supplies that we'll need. So obviously you'll need your canvas, whatever you want to mount to the board, the board that you will be mounting the canvas to. Paper towels are always a good idea. This is the secret ingredient. This is what really helps the process go well. This is Yes brand acid-free paste. So it's acid-free, that's gonna protect your work. And it's a paste, so there's not a lot of moisture in it. When I've tried to glue canvas to panels with a wet glue, uh, there's too much moisture and the canvas ends up buckling and wrinkling. But this is a nice thick dry paste. Well, not completely dry, but it doesn't have a lot of moisture and so it works really well for getting a flat adhesion of your canvas to your panel. This you'll have to order either from Amazon or Art Supply Company. Uh, I don't think you can find it just on the shelves anymore, but it's a great product. You'll need a razor, X-Acto knife, or utility blade for trimming off the excess canvas. This is a rolling pin. You don't really need a rolling pin, but something cylindrical even just like a wooden rod where you can roll the canvas onto the panel and really get that glue pressed down in there. I also have a couple putty knives here, a smaller one. I use the smaller one, it's about an inch, uh, inch and a half wide. I use that for digging the paste out of the jar. And then I use a larger one for spreading the paste onto the canvas. That along with some newsprint or just newspaper, some scrap paper, where you can protect your table, you can protect the painting from getting glue all over it. So first thing I'm gonna do is lay out uh, some of this newsprint and put the canvas on top of it. So Natty had placed her board on the back of the canvas and that's very important, especially if you're going to be mounting a pre-painted panel onto a board. You wanna make sure it's lined up exactly where you want it. So she kept flipping it over, making sure she had it lined up with the panel where she wanted it and then she took a pen, you can take a pen or a pencil, and just draw a line all the way around that panel, that wooden panel on the back. And this will give us a guideline as far as where to put the glue. Uh, also give us a guideline as far as where to put the panel back once we have glued it. So I'm gonna start here, just scraping out some of this paste. And then I'm gonna go up to the edges and start smearing that paste around in the back. You want to get a, a nice even coat, not too thick, but you do want to get it into the weave of the canvas. And one of the more important steps about this part is to get a little extra right on the edges where these lines are drawn. If the canvas is going to peel up, it's most likely going to peel up at one of the edges. So I like to get a little extra glue right on the edge by where that's drawn. So I'm going to just keep going over here and fill in all of this area on the back of the canvas. And then we will put the panel on. Once you get enough glue down, you can move over to the larger putty knife and just squeeze that paste into the canvas. So you want a good amount down, but if you have too much, then as you apply pressure to the canvas onto the panel, 
can actually see little dimples in there. So uh, it just takes a little practice. Maybe try a few small panels before committing to a larger one. Now that we've got the paste spread evenly around the back of the canvas here within that pen marked line, we can take our panel. You're going to want to make sure there is some uh, roughness to the panel. So if you have a very smooth panel like a masonite, I would probably take uh, some sandpaper and scuff it up a little bit. This plywood has a little bit of grain to it, so I think that should work fine. So you're going to want to just line it back up with those marks that you traced around the board. Once you're comfortable with that, just press it down. You can apply some pressure all over the back of the board. And now I'm going to flip it along with that paper that I put down. So I want to protect the surface of the painting. Uh, I'm always grabbing a new sheet of the newsprint because I want to just make sure I don't get any paste or any goobers on the face of the painting. At this point, I'll take the rolling pin and I'm just going to roll over the face of the painting and over the edges. I'll go vertically and horizontally and diagonally just every which way I can. This is going to help us get a nice flat surface with the painting on the board. Then I like to check and just take a look at that surface, make sure it's nice and flat and no bubbles or wrinkles. It's looking good. At this point, I'm going to turn it back over face down. And I'm going to put it on some cardboard or put some cardboard underneath of it because now we're going to trim off the excess canvas. Here's where you grab your razor blade or exacto and just carefully trim around the canvas using the uh, you can use the board as a guide. I like to leave a little bit of extra canvas while the glue dries in case there's any shrinking. I have not really seen any shrinking with that paste. The wetter glues will cause the canvas to shrink more. So I'm going to leave a little bit extra canvas and then I'm going to let it dry overnight and then tomorrow I'll come back and I trim it all the way up to the edge of that board. At this point, I also like to go around the edges of the canvas. Just wipe off if there's any real big gobs of that paste. And lastly, before we let it dry overnight, I will keep this newsprint on the face of the painting. And then I'm going to set a bigger board and some books on top of it to weight it down as it dries. So let's take a look at that here. So yeah, that worked out nicely. This is beautiful painting and uh, I actually like it trimmed down more now. I think that is a more focused composition. So I'm going to stack some books on this and then we'll come back after it's dried, trim the rest of it off and maybe pop it in that frame. All right, we had the painting sitting underneath a stack of books overnight so that the, uh, the glue had a chance to cure and to dry. And now we just need to trim off that little extra canvas. So Natty is going to take the razor blade and just make some light passes over that extra canvas edge there until it falls off. You don't want to put a lot of pressure because maybe your hand would uh, skip or jump. So just some light passes until the rest of that canvas falls off. All right, Natty, go ahead. All right, so flip it over now. And now we've got a nice clean canvas mounted onto a wooden board here. And this is ready to go into the frame. You want to put it in the frame? Sure. Awesome. Here we've got the panel in the frame and we just have to 
uh, attach it in there so it doesn't fall out. There's different ways you can do that. You can use offset clips, you could even use nails, or there are glazer points that you can push in with a flat screwdriver. But my favorite way to mount a panel or a flat piece of art into a frame is a point driver. These you can find at Hobby Lobby for about 40 or $50, which is kind of expensive, but if you're doing a lot of framing, it's gonna be worth it. You can get either flexible points that will be able to bend up and you can take your artwork out, or you can get rigid points for harder woods and if you just want it to be in there permanently. There is a tension adjuster here if you need it to shoot in deeper. And so all you do is you put this point right up against the edge of the panel into the frame, pull the trigger, and that puts a nice point in there that's going to create tension and hold your artwork in the frame. So we're going to put a few more of those in around here. So there you have it, that's how you can take a canvas, mount it to a board, and then uh, install it into a frame. So this is ready for your show, right? Alright, great. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.